It has been a month since Rick Santorum won a primary or a caucus. A win in Ohio tonight would give him a big boost. Dean Reynolds is at Santorum's headquarters in Steubenville. Dean? Scott, Santorum has high hopes in Ohio, but there are signs of trouble here. Problems with organization and maybe some of his own making. It's gut check time. <laughs> Who wants it the most? What do you say? One week ago, polls here showed Santorum with a seven point lead. Now, he finds himself in a neck and neck race with Romney and trying to fire up supporters at his last campaign stop. No one was paying much of attention to us, but we went out and delivered a strong, clear message that we needed a conviction conservative, someone who had a record and a vision. But while his strong, clear message on social issues resonates with the conservative base, it may be seen as too narrow by everyone else. Going forward, Santorum will head for Kansas and Mississippi next. He raised $9 million last month, but he and his super PAC were outspent 4-1 to one in Ohio by Romney and his. Money is an issue, and so is organization. While campaign sources feel Santorum will be very competitive in upcoming contests in Texas and Alabama, they have no internal polling to back up their optimism. And here in Ohio, Scott, Santorum's campaign has failed to file the required election paperwork in several districts, including the one where we are. And that means that even if Santorum is victorious tonight, he will not be getting all the delegates he otherwise would have won. Close race in Ohio. Dean, thanks very much.